Hello, welcome to Brian 360 and welcome to Fort Montague on New Providence Island in the Bahamas. There are three forts still standing on New Providence Island. Fort Montague, which is the smallest, followed by Fort Fincastle, and then the largest, Fort Charlotte. On the northern coast of New Providence Island is the main city and port of Nassau. In 1697, Fort Nassau was completed to protect the city and port from pirates, the French, and the Spanish. However, if you could protect Nassau before the ships even got there, even better. And that's why Fort Montague was built in 1742. As we're walking along this pier, you can see ahead and to the left, there are some buildings. Those are located on what is now called Paradise Island. It was formerly called Hog Island. Now, Paradise Island is the home to the current resort of Atlantis and some homes to some very rich people, including Michael Jordan, Shakira, Sylvester Stallone, Tiger Woods, Oprah Winfrey has two, and Bill Gates has seven. Built on the northeastern coast of New Providence Island, Fort Montague allowed for the protection of Nassau before invading ships even got within cannon range. There was also a small battery on Hog Island which would add to this protection. While Forts Charlotte and Fincastle would protect Nassau as they were within cannon range of the water, they were not built until 1789 and 1793 respectively. As we approach Fort Montague, it certainly doesn't look very impressive. It's a very small fort with really only four cannons. However, it did see action twice, once in 1776 and again in 1782. But more about that in a minute. The fort was described by the chief engineer, Peter Henry Bruce, in his memoirs. He describes the material that was used to make these walls. He states, All the stone on this and the adjacent islands is of so soft a nature when raised from the quarries that we could cut and shape them in any form with very little labor. And after they have been some time exposed in the open air, they turn hard as flint. With its excellent property that in firing into the walls, the ball lodges as in a mud wall without making the least breach. This I proved by several shot from an 18 pounder. When the fort was attacked both times, it was not by heavy cannon. So the fort was never really tested by heavy shells in wartime. These two displays show the history of when Fort Montague saw action. The first is Fort Montague under siege, the Battle of Nassau, 1776. Commodore Isaac Hopkins landed over 200 soldiers at the eastern end of New Providence on the 3rd of March, 1776. They had come to capture the munitions stored at Nassau. The governor ordered that three shots be fired from Fort Montague as his soldiers retreated to Fort Nassau. Upon surrender by the governor, the Americans hoisted their flag. The attack was foiled as only the day before most of the munitions were shipped to Boston. The Americans carried what was left, 100 guns, and the governor as hostage. Now this reads Colonial Andrew. It should be Colonel Andrew DeVoe's Expedition 1783. Colonel Andrew DeVoe, a loyalist living in South Carolina, launched an expedition to rid the Bahamas of the Spanish who had captured New Providence in 1782 under Don Juan de Cajigal, Governor General of Cuba and Havana with 5,000 soldiers. DeVoe personally financed the expedition and included recruits from Harbor Island. They landed at the eastern end of New Providence where DeVoe's troops made a surprise invasion of Fort Montague. He found them asleep and threatened to blow up the garrison. From hills overlooking the town of Nassau with 220 men and only about 150 muskets, DeVoe raised two batteries within easy range of the Spanish at Fort Nassau. The British flag was hoisted, and the Spanish surrendered. We are now looking west towards Nassau, so any ships uh, attempting to attack the port of Nassau would be sailing in that direction. The cannon we're looking at now 
is pointing to the northeast towards Hog Island. This other cannon to the right will be maneuvered to point to the northeast as well. Nice view of the beach. Again, looking north to Paradise Island, and that's where all the rich people live. We did not stay there. Oprah must have lost my number or something. Looking ahead, we see the fourth and final cannon of the tiny Fort Montague. That could be pointed toward the land, and I'm sure it could be maneuvered to point towards the sea as well. So if you are visiting New Providence Island in the Bahamas, and you've got about 10 or 15 minutes to spare, and you'd like to see a little bit of history, here's a place where you can come. Fort Montague, the smallest fort on the island, for the meager price of two bucks. Come and visit, learn a little bit of history. Thanks very much for watching, and take care.